Jay McDonald, please. With an aging population and more health services now driven through community care instead of hospitals, GPs are feeling the pressure. Doctors say recruitment, retention and workload are at crisis point. In Doncaster, GP Dean Eggett told us the effect on him. There are days when I've come to work and you get palpitations, you get short of breath, you get foggy headed and you wonder to yourself, is this the day when I'm not going to be able to cope? Is this the day when I'm accidentally going to harm a patient because I can't put up with the pressure anymore? It's frustrating and upsetting that we can't deliver the service that we want to. Figures for England show that in the past five years, the overall number of GPs has risen by 4.75%, but the number of patient consultations they're doing rose at a much higher rate, 15.4%. Almost half of GPs leaving the profession, 45.5%, were younger than 50, and only 11% of new trainee GPs plan to stay in full-time general practice for more than five years. We need some more reform of general practice, different ways of working, working together in larger teams, having more people around the GP, practice nurses, physiotherapists, pharmacists, health coaches, who can really provide a broad range of care to patients. The Department of Health told us it's taking action to double the growth rate in GPs through new incentives for training, recruitment, retention and return to practice, and that in England it started a five-year-long £2.4 billion funding boost. Patients like Jean say that can't come soon enough. More things that they would like to do, especially within this practice, there's just not the time to do it, the money to do it, and the people there to help. From the surgery to the home visit and phone consultations, Dean says GPs have never been busier and that something's got to give. Peter Lane, 5 News.